Just to make sure that uh, we can hear you, we're going to have you take your mask off. I'm going to leave mine on. But and before you begin, and so we can test out the microphone, could you give us your full name, spelling each of your names? Like my whole name? Yep. Alicia Marie Euler, A L I S H A M A R I E E O Y L E R. And I think I'm going to have you pull up just a little closer to the microphone. Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Slisher. Uh, thank you very much, Your Honor. Ms. Weiler, the, the key I'm going to give you is that when you speak, you should be able to hear your own voice over the speakers, all right? So just lean close enough to the microphone to be able to do that, all right? Are you originally from Minnesota? No. Where, where did you grow up? No, I'm from Arizona. <laughs> I'm sorry. This, I don't like this. Okay. Yeah, I just need to speak closer. Okay, thank you. Are good? All right. Thank you, thank you. And you can even pretend you're yelling at me if you want to, or make your make your voice hit the back of the room, all right? Okay. So you said that you grew up in Arizona, is that right? Yep. What part of Arizona? Um, just Arizona. The whole state? Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, when did you make your way over uh, to Minnesota? I don't know. A while ago. Were you still in high school? Yeah. Uh, what's the last grade you completed through high school? Eleventh. Okay. Can you uh, tell the jury the different um, cities or towns that you've lived in since coming to Minnesota? I guess Minneapolis. Okay. Minneapolis, and I assume Red Wing for yeah, what? Yeah, St. Paul. And St. Paul. Okay. But, do you recognize what's shown in Exhibit 1? Yeah. Uh, do you see the speedway where you used to work? Yeah. No. Speak up a little bit. Yep. <laughs> All right. So, um, do you have uh, something that looks like this in front of you? A little stylus? All right. What I'd like you to do is just take this and see if you can draw a circle around the speedway where you used to work. Thank you. Do you recall something that caught your attention outside of the speedway? Um, yeah. You tell the jury what uh, caught your attention. Um, the uh, police, like in that area, it's always police. Okay. When did you first notice, or where did you first notice the police? And then what did you see happen after Mr. Floyd was in handcuffs? I don't remember. What's the next thing you do um, remember? This, oh my God. <laughs> Are you a little nervous today? Yeah. Well, that's okay. Just take your time. And uh, we have plenty of time to get through this, okay? Think to yourself um, what you next remember uh, seeing after you noticed he was in handcuffs. I think they um, ended up putting him in the, um, the police car thing. Did you do anything with your cell phone as you began to notice uh, uh, this incident involving Mr. Floyd and the police? Well, as you guys seen that um, on the security thing that I had my phone. Mm -hmm. you, you Right, you had your phone. Did you do anything with your phone? Like recording it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, after you noticed the police officers putting Mr. Floyd in the car, Um, I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. I can't think right now. Well, um, 